Good morning, Frontline Motor Pool. So today, I plan on doing some work on my radiator. So I got my motor started the other day. I want to thank Dustin, uh, AKA Bossman Wiley. Uh, turns out that uh, I wired the, uh, the um, spark plug cables backwards. So I was thinking that um, the distributor turned clockwise it actually turns counterclockwise and uh, so my two and three wires were crossed so it would sputter and it wouldn't start so uh, with his help we kind of diagnosed the problem and um, fixed a couple other minor issues but um, I was able to get it started so I let it run for about 30 seconds and now I'm kind of at a point where I need to set the timing and set the carburetor idle etc but uh, to do that I need a radiator so I pulled out one of my radiator cores um, one of my original cores and um, I started cleaning it up and I basically I cleaned it up with um, started off with just a wire wheel and cleaned off most of the excess gray paint that was sprayed all over it it was not a GPW radiator but had gray painted all over it which for whatever reason um, so I cleaned off as much as that as I could and I actually took an old comb I had and combed the fins out straight and just took a good look at it turns out that uh, part of the lower radiator shroud was all pretty much rusted out and was no longer attached to the radiator so I ended up having to remove that refabricate a new uh, piece of shroud um, I did have a spare shroud but I decided that I didn't want to just cut up a good spare shroud so um, I and I'm good with sheet metal so I just fabricated a new one fabricated a new uh, little mount piece that solders to the radiator and um, that didn't take very long at all so anyway I made the repair and today I plan on testing the radiator and repairing any holes I find so that kind of brings us to what what's going on today um, my goals today is to pressure test the radiator and so I'm going to do that a little redneck pressure test uh, I picked up some supplies from Harbor Freight Tools uh, for about 12 bucks and then I will show you how I do that and hopefully you can save some money um, and do something similar. There is a local radiator shop. They're kind of, it takes a while to get the radiator back and I'm kind of anxious to get the, the uh, Jeep running um, so I can go drive it around some. So rather than leave my radiator with them for a month, and get them to pressure test for you know a hundred bucks uh, I decided I'll just do it myself so that's my plan today um, pressure test the radiator and then solder any repairs that I, where I find leaks and so stay tuned good morning frontline motor pool so um, recently I got my motor started and uh, I want to do some adjustments on the motor so I can start driving it around town like a Beverly Hillbilly so um, I am kind of working overtime trying to get this radiator squared away. Um, this is an original Willie's radiator, but um, the shroud on it was uh, pretty rusted out. Um, let's see. I don't have the piece right here to show you. So basically I had to refabricate this shroud piece um, and the bracket that mounts it to the brass radiator um, and weld it all together. So I'm pretty happy with kind of how it turned out. Um, this bracket down here, which you can see run here with the holes, that's just soldered in place um, and that's what holds it to the radiator itself. And then this shroud spot welds to that bracket and then spot welds over here. So. This is all done and cleaned up. So what I'm gonna do today is um, do a little redneck uh, radiator pressure test to see if I have any leaks, try to identify them, fix them if I can, um, and try to get this radiator painted. So the 
original radiator for my early willies is actually painted black. So I want to get all this leak test done and dried and then I'm going to paint it. Okay, so I went to Harbor Freight Tools. Um, my idea is to do this as cheaply as I can and maybe show you guys something you can use. So um, this is my receipt. First thing I did is I went to Harbor Freight Tools and I got me a little 10 inch inner tube. Okay, doesn't look like much, but really I'm just gonna cut this up and use the rubber. And so the inner tube costs me uh, $4.99. Uh, and then I got uh, this little hose clamp kit, a whole bunch of different hose clamps. I really only needed a couple hose clamps, three hose clamps to be specific, but um, I went ahead and bought the set because I always need hose clamps for something around the yard. So the hose clamp set cost me $6.49. So we're looking at $10, $11, $11 and a half dollars, $12 with tax. So $12, I'm gonna, that should be everything I need to do my little pressure test. And I've got some acid core solder of different types and what and that's probably another 10 bucks so we're talking about you know about 22 bucks worth of materials to repair this radiator um, so this is this is where I'm gonna start All right, so this is probably gonna leak a little bit right where I made the seals, but that's okay. Uh, Cause I'm gonna, all I need to do is get some pressure in there and see where else it's bubbling um, in the water. So let me get that set up and I'll show you that. So I'm filling up a wheelbarrow with just water. Um, that's why I have a nice big square wheelbarrow like this um, to use for my, my parts as well. I use this for electrolysis and a lot of different things. So it's gonna take a second to fill that up with water. Um, soon as it is it's ready, we'll go through the pressure test. So initially I thought uh, I had uh, a couple small leaks in here. Um, that's why I kept testing to see if it was just trap bubbles. But there was trap bubbles in between the, the fins and the longer I tested it, it dislodged those. So um, actually I'm very lucky. Uh, I did not find any leaks in the core at all. So what I'm gonna do is take it out, let it dry thoroughly, and then I'm gonna paint it uh, Willie's MB uh, Black.
So it's really hard to kind of just using the inner tubes to get a seal around this. I probably could have um, just put on the cap. Um, in fact, I'll show you using the cap, and that, that way I can test the uh, that way I can test the cap and make sure it works well as. So I put the cap back on. I'll show you here in a second. Let me add a little bit more pressure to this. So I've lucked out. Uh, the core itself is not leaking. I, I haven't found any leaks. The cap does leak. So no leaks as evidenced by no bubbles. Uh, the leak in the cap I will replace with a uh, reproduction cap. Um, I'm going to dry this all up and then um, repaint it uh, Willie's MB black, uh, which I believe is semi-gloss black. What do now is uh, get it out of the water, uh, take all the stuff off, set it out in the sun, and let it dry good so I can paint it. All right, Frontline Motor Pool, I had a productive day. Uh, turns out that the core of my radiator uh, is solid. Uh, I did not find any leaks. Initially, I was a little concerned. I saw a little bubbling, but that was just bubbles trapped in between the fins. Uh, so I tested it several times, did not find any leaks around the top or the bottom seam or anywhere in the fins, um, which is really kind of amazing. Uh, the radiator cap itself is bad, so I did have quite a bit of leakage out the radiator cap, um, and I just put the cap on. You saw where I tested it that way. So, um, all in all, I think uh, we had a pretty successful day. Pressure tested the regulator. Success. Um, solder repairs where I find them and leaks. Um, I didn't, I didn't find any leaks, so um, that was amazing.